Entrevistas Alfa. Soy Patti Velasco para Alfa 91.3, donde todo nace. And I'm here with Jimmy from UB40. Welcome, Jimmy. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Where are you now? Your home? I'm in my Birmingham? home, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Birmingham? Yes, I'm in Birmingham. Well, just outside of Birmingham, in, in the Birmingham. countryside, um, away from the city. But yeah, it's still Birmingham. It's where all my family are. And, you know, I've got all my family here. And uh, yeah, enjoying a few weeks before we start working very hard. Yeah, I'm in Mexico City and you will be here very, very soon. You have a special show in Mexico City on my 25, Remind GNP. Yeah. That's so exciting, James. Yeah, I love I love Mexico. I love the vibe. I love coming there. People love music. People love rhythm. Um, and I think it's just, it's, it's, it's a, a beautiful place. And the people are really beautiful too. And a great audience to play to. Thank you. We love music. We love reggae. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you'll be Definitely. sharing the stage with another band like the Jacksons, Mist, Buena Vista All Stars, Aterciopelados. What are your expectations for this show? And what can Mexican fans expect from UB40 in Mexico City? Well, they're going to have, um, obviously, the, the hits, you know, uh, yeah. Red Red Wine, Can't Help Falling in Love, Kingston Town, Cherry O' Baby, you know, uh, All those, but, you know, also a few new numbers as well. A couple of new tracks from the new album. Um, we don't we don't like to just play old tunes. We like to play some new things too. But, yeah, we, you know, we want people to, to dance and sing. We expect people to sing along and uh, just to have a party. And that, that's what I'm expecting. Absolutely. We will be singing with you, dancing with you, enjoying your 45 years because you have a new <laughs> album you're celebrating 45 years of ub40 of making music of making reggae and you have a new album which i mm -hmm. love the name by the way ub45 that's <laughs> right yeah well it's our 45th year so we've gone why not call it ub45 i uh, love it <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple uh, i love it so this new album has seven new songs And uh -huh. seven new versions of your classic songs, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've you... gone. How did you choose which ones to include in this new album? Well, we we chose probably the best known tunes, Red Red Wine, obviously, Kingston Town. Um I can't remember most of the others, but uh we, we you know we wanted to get our new singer's voice onto the onto the tunes. Um, mm -hmm. And we wanted to update them a little bit. We haven't changed them too much, but, you know, we wanted to to make it sound more modern, more clear, more clarity, you know. Uh, and and But also, we wanted to do new material too. Like I say, with live, we like to, we, we don't want to be just a, a, a legacy band or, you know, a... a a heritage band as they call because we want to make new music as well and um it's got uh, the new album is a combination seven old tracks seven new tracks and we wanted to make that connection between the old band and the new band and uh mm -hmm. and, and i think it was successful I, i i'm very proud of it yeah and let's talk about the first single give me some kind of sign By the uh -huh. way, we have a Mexican version, a Spanish version version of that song. Okay, um, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's, it's an old, cool. old classic. Yeah, absolutely. It's from the 70s, right? From Brenton Wood? I think 70s, maybe 60s. I'm not quite sure. Brenton Woods, yes, definitely. And um, I think there have been a few other versions since, but uh, we, we, we think it's kind of a forgotten song in some ways, you know. And uh, yeah, it really suited us. And... Uh, The new singer, it was a, a, a cover version he wanted to do for many years with his mm. old band. And uh, we've gone, yeah, let's do it now. And so we we, we worked it. And uh, I think we will be playing that when we come next week. Yeah, absolutely. And what about the new songs? Where did you find inspiration or what did you like to, to talk about in these new songs? After well, 40 you know, we're, we're, we're old old socialists really and we write when we write our own songs 
we like to maybe put a political message into the songs, yeah, if possible. You know, not always. Sometimes it's just a love song, but um, uh, you know, we we so the new the new material um reflects that you know that we want to we. I mean, nothing has changed. We started 45 years ago saying the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer, about, singing about racism, singing about class, uh, right. class Human war, rights. Class, class struggle. And um, it's not changed. Nothing has changed you know, in 45 years. So still those subjects are still relevant, you know. And, um, yeah, we wanted to, to you know, show people that we we, we support immigration that we love the idea of immigration, the idea of people going from one place to another and bringing their something fresh and new into the country. We love that, you know. And um, I, you know, my my wife is is um, she's half Jamaican, you know. So uh, her father came in the nineteen fifties, you know. So you know, we we celebrate that. And there's a lot of anti-immigrant rhetoric around you know and we wanted to, to let people know that we that we don't feel like that at all we think that people we, we think that because we're socialists we have more in common with each other than we do with our bosses or the elite or the the politicians you know uh, so you know we 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 still are inspired by the same problems you know but what a beautiful way of saying what you think and what you think is right or what you think that uh, should be uh, make a better world with mm -hmm. the music, with the rhythm and with reggae. I think what a beautiful way to express yourself. Yeah, well, uh, that's the beauty of reggae is that it, it's, it's very versatile. You know, you can just have a love song, but you can... You can get political, you know, when you look yep. at, say, Bob Marley, for example, there's a gravitas to what he does and the music accommodates that. The, there's a gravitas in the music, too. It doesn't yep. have to be. It can be light and love it, lovers, and but it, it has that ability to become heavy and serious, too, you know, which really just pop music doesn't have that, you know. And no. I, And I think it's, you know, reggae's timeless, too. You know, yeah. we play reggae music, but we started in the 1980s, but we don't sound like the 1980s because the music sounded like that before the 1980s mm -hmm. and still science sounds the same after after that, you know. So we don't sound like a band that comes from the 1980s. We we play reggae music and that, that, that gives us an international um, uh, audience, you know. Which, which is absolutely great. yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and i and i think that you just said something very important that nowadays pop music or yeah pop music mm -hmm. lacks of this um interesting and and uh, lyrics that have like like meaning you know like <laughs> think like make you think and make you be better and make you mm -hmm. want to make a better world i mean so congratulations on that Yeah, thank you. I mean, you know, we, we've survived a very long time, you know, and uh, it's a miracle. Uh, we don't really know why, but, you know, we, we just keep working. We've never stopped working from the very first gig we did in 1979 uh, at a local pub. Um, and we from that point, we've never stopped working. So we're very grateful for that. And we're, we're very grateful that, you know, we... We've had this success for many, many years. Don't know why, you know. If I understood why, then we could put it in a bottle and sell it for <laughs> billions and billions, you know, of dollars. Tell your secret. But, but it's uh, it, it's it's just it's alchemy. It's it's chemistry, and you can't really predict what people will like and what they won't like. But you just do what you think is right. So you know. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah. absolutely great. <laughs> You just made a new version of Food for Thought to, to be the official anthem for the Birmingham City Football Club. Now mm -hmm. it's called Forever True to the Royal Blue. Uh -huh. That's, That's right, so yeah. cool because you've always been fan, uh, well, all, all you before already been fans from uh, Birmingham Club. So, wow, congratulations to. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was important because I, I, I was born in the shadow of the stadium. You know, mm -hmm. I was just, you know, less than one mile from 
the stadium. Wow. We we used to walk. My dad my dad used to take me on Saturday afternoon, you know, and and we would walk there, and you know we would lose usually. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not talking. I mean, it's strange in Birmingham because we've got two two football teams. We've got Birmingham City, which doesn't do very well, but that we are fans. <laughs> uh, even though we're not, you know, they don't, they're not at the top. And then we have Aston Villa, who are at the top, you know, okay. and there's a big sort of rivalry and, and you know, not animosity, but competition between the fans, Birmingham fans and the, the Villa fans. And our rapper, Gilly G, who we use now, he's a Villa fan. Uh, and oh. some, sometimes we have to throw him in the river and, you know, and treat him badly and... Uh, but you know, we 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 all love football and we all love Birmingham. You know, I'm proud of the city I come from. It's yeah. a multicultural city, and it makes me, you know, it, it informs everything that I've ever done. So, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud, Bromwich. Yeah, how honored to to sing their new anthem. That's so cool. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And uh, th when uh, when we did, we performed it live after the football yeah. match. For wow. The crowd. And uh, they were all singing along, you know. It had only been released for one day and they knew all the words. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. We we really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's for true fans. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. True fans through thick and thin, they say. It's like a marriage, if for better or for worse. Uh, yeah. For richer or <laughs> poorer, you know. So, Forever. yeah. True to the, to the royal blue. So, Jimmy, uh -huh. what music do you like to hear when you're in... At uh, home, or I don't know, your your peaceful time. <laughs> you yeah, well, you know, I mean, or artist. Yeah, I think it, it it depends, you know, on what you're doing. If you're driving, maybe I like. Um, I mean, I'm stuck in the nineties, really. I love drum and bass. You know, I love because that's when it first was invented. The the style of music, D and B, drum and bass. Um, I love that style. And I've really that stayed with me, but you know, I I, I like to, um, you know, kind of like chill out and, okay. you know, that kind of way. You're just relaxing, and you've got some nice beats, chilled beats, and you know, nothing too, rah, 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 you know, um, loud, no, noisy. Okay. Yeah, nothing too noisy. I mean, uh, even when I was younger, I like, you know, um, I love house music. But mm -hmm. you know, soulful house, not not techno. I don't really like techno. You know, mm -hmm. I prefer a soulful house or you know more kind of chill beats and so that's the kind of thing that I would listen to. I never know because I get I get DJ tapes given to me and I mm -hmm. never know what who the artists are, but okay. I know what I like. You know, and I, I particularly like you know nine, like I said, nineties drum and bass for me is the the ultimate drummer's music. Okay, perfect. Mm. I want to know, Jimmy, what's next for you with 40? Another 45 years of music, of reggae? <laughs> well, well, we'll see. You know, we, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it doesn't look like it, we're going down in any way. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we tour, we, we've toured uh, every year for 45 years, you know, oh. we've never taken any time off, really, because that's our job, you know, we, it's what we do. And um, and it works for us because you know I mean my family I, I was with my wife before before the band started, so it's worked for us where I can go away and I look forward to coming home or she can come with me if she wants to you know and um, and that really works well you know and uh, when we had lockdown I don't know if you had lockdown in Mexico but when we had lockdown after the you know it was a year of not working and when we went into the second year. My wife's going, haven't you got a tour to go to? You know, it, <laughs> it, it's time, I think. Why don't you to leave the house? Exactly, yeah, wow. yeah. You know, <laughs> and then, but, you you know, you never know what it look, what it's like to look forward to coming home if you don't leave home, you know. It, it, and it, it it works, but, you know, we um we seem, you know, we do gigs, they're sold out. We, we just did... um. Uh, a gig in Holland uh, just before Christmas, and that was sixteen, seventeen thousand people sold out. You know, wow. and that that's after forty-five years. We can't we can't believe that that is still 
happening for us, you know, and everywhere we go in the world, we, we set out, you know, so we continue to do it. And, and well, we say, music well, coming. yeah, well, there's no reason to stop. You know, we, you say, what's next for you, Big 40? Another album, another tour, you know, and uh, we'll keep doing that until, until the time comes where people don't care anymore and they don't come to the, to the shows or, You know. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, I'm hoping not, you know, but you never know. You can't, you can't predict it really, but yeah. I, I feel lucky, you know. Yes, you are. And <laughs> I, do you think maybe next year you can come again to Mexico City to give a bigger show, bigger venue? I think that is, yeah, I think that is the plan. Yeah, I think the idea is to be doing our own tour of Central and South America. Um, mm -hmm. And, and, Yeah, certainly, definitely Mexico will Perfect. be on the list, you know, of, of the countries because we, and I think we may be looking to do that in February, but I'm not not too sure. So don't quote me on that. But uh, I think we'll be coming again very soon. Yeah, we need more UB40 here in Mexico City. We right. really we like love your Mexico. Music. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we really like your music. I uh, Would you like to send a message to your Mexican fans? Yeah, um, I mean, come to the show and and be be ready to to dance and be ready to sing, you know. Uh, ladies, don't wear high heels, you know, because we expect lots of dancing and lots of singing, and you know, uh, and and come come to, come and have a party with us, because in the end, you know, we we may be political and we may be serious sometimes, but the music is never serious. Music no. is always dance music. It's always about having a good time and and going home feeling happier than you were when when you came. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know, to uplift people, and that's what hopefully they, you're going to get. Perfect. Music is is um, a blessing. Music is a gift. Music is a party, as you said. So we will be. Mm -hmm. Uh, there with you on May 25 in Remind GNP. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy the show because we are going to be enjoying it the most. Okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. It's been thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. That's uh, an absolute you? pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thank you. It's my pleasure having this conversation with you. And mm, let's go for another 45 years, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. We start today. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Have a nice thank day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Jimmy de UB40, yo soy Patti Velasco para Alfa 91.3, donde todo nace. Entrevistas Alfa.